So what is going on YouTube? My name is Mehul and welcome to your third basics of HTML and CSS front-end web developer tutorial. And in this one, we're going to be creating our first HTML file ever, right? So first things first, you know, in order to write, you know, something for the web, to create something for the web, to show something for the web to the people, you need to write some sort of code that is called HTML and you have to write it in a specific file you're going to create. So what this file would do is that this would be sent to the browser, browser would open this file, browser would read the contents and it would create a GUI representation that is the graphical user interface representation on the screen reading whatever is written in that particular file. Now when you create that file you can name it anything but there are two conventions. Number one is that you're going to end the name of the file with an extension .html and number two, the root file for your website should be named index. Now, why this index? I have no idea. It could be anything. It could have been anything, but they just, con they just go with index.html for some reason, which I don't know why. So yeah, there's that. So what you have to do again on CodeDAM as well, for the convention purposes, you have to create index.html file only. And once you create that file, whatever you write in here would be automatically synced up and displayed in this white area, right? So consider this, this area where you can write stuff as your actual editor and consider this area as a, as a browser kind of thing. So although you're running this whole thing in a browser, but you can actually um, think of this as a separate browser and this can be your inbuilt editor, right? So this is how you can code on the web for the web. How cool is that? And an inside fact is that this thing is also done using HTML, you know, because we have no alternative. So yeah, here we are. So just to prove my point, I'm going to write something here and you can see it immediately shows up here as well. If I remove any of this, you see it updates in real time. So it's basically doing two things for you. When you're writing this, it actually saves it and it reloads this particular browser as well. How cool is that? Otherwise you would have to like manually go and refresh the stuff, which is kind of boring and time wasting when you're learning. So yeah, here we are. So yeah, this is how you're going to create your first HTML file. And uh, yeah, I mean, we can just go ahead and write hello world because why the hell not? Hello world is just a convention among programmers when they start something new. They write a hello world program and here is our hello world program in html language so that's all for this video if you liked it don't forget to subscribe and like the video thank you for watching and i'll see you then very very soon in the next video